So I went out, stared at the night sky and didn't see shit. Well maybe because it was cloudy. But so I went online and then I checked the green comet out. It was awesome, it had a bright greenish tail made up of gas that if inhaled can lead to a loss of consciousness, convulsions and death. It wasn't really visible to the naked eye because the comet had a magnitude of 5, barely even visible to binoculars. But now let's see why it wasn't really that visible and compare it to other famous comets. The Green Comet also known as C 2022E3 made its closest approach to Earth on the 1st of February at a distance of 42 million kilometers or 26 million miles. The comet reached a magnitude of 5 and was said to be visible with the naked eyes <clears throat> Lion. <clears throat> under moonless dark skies and in clear conditions without the air pollution so you have to go to the desert. The green color is likely due to the presence of diatomic carbon and cyanogen around the comet's head that forms its tail as well. So the green comet wasn't really a big specimen with a nucleus of only one kilometer. Due to its small size and being 42 million kilometers away, it wasn't a spectacle as was hyped in the internet. Now let's compare it with the other comets. The first one, Halley's Comet. This is a short period comet visible from Earth every 75 years. Halley is regularly visible to the naked eye from Earth and thus the only comet that can appear twice in a human lifetime. It was last seen in 1986 and will be seen again in 2061. It has a diameter of 11 kilometers, 11 times the size of the green comet just by diameter size. It is like comparing the Earth with Jupiter. The second one, C 2017K2, also known as Pan Stars, it was discovered in May 2017 at a distance beyond the orbit of Saturn. Around the 14th of July 2022, it passed around 270 million kilometers from Earth and shone around a magnitude of 9, making it barely visible to binoculars as well. Although it was 18 kilometers or 18 times the size of the green comet, its distance and short tail made it really hard to spot in the night sky. Comet McNaught, also known as the Great Comet of 2007, it was the brightest comet in 40 years and was easily visible to the naked eye for observers in the southern hemisphere in January and February of 2007. With an estimated peak magnitude of minus 5.5, it was visible in the south even in daylight time. Comet McNaught had a nucleus of the size of 25 kilometers or 15 miles, way way bigger than the current one, the Green Comet. Next, the Great Comet of 1811. Although not seen in our lifetime, because it was in the 19th century, the Great Comet of 1811 was a comet that was visible for 260 days in the night sky. At its brightest, it had a magnitude of zero with a nucleus being visible as well. It had a size of 35 kilometers in diameter, 35 times bigger than the Great Comet and it had a tail that was longer than the diameter of the Sun, around 1 million miles long. Next, Hale Bob. This is a comet that was one of the most widely observed of the 20th century and one of the brightest seen for many decades. It was brighter than the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius, but with a very long tail making it even more of a spectacle. Hale Bob was visible for 18 months and had a diameter of 60 kilometers, therefore being able to fit between 100 to 200,000 green comets in its volume. Next we have C 1729P1, also known as Comet Sarabad. It was the brightest comet ever to be seen by humanity and also considered to be one of the largest comets in the solar system with a diameter of more than 100 kilometers. Therefore, comparing the size of the green comet to Sarabat will be like comparing the size of the Earth and the Sun. Thus, its volume is a million times more and it's shown with a magnitude of minus 3. And the last one, Comet BB. With a nucleus diameter of at least 120 kilometers, it is the largest Earth cloud comet known. Also, it rivals or is larger than Comet Sarabat. It is approaching the Sun and will reach its perihelion of 10.9 astronomical units or just outside Saturn's orbit in January of 2031. It will not be visible to the naked eye because it will not enter the inner solar system. Nevertheless, it is still bigger than Sarabat and a titan compared to the Green Comet. So imagine the Green Comet of 1 km in diameter and having a hundred of these just to form a belt around Comet BB or Sarabat. That is why the current comet isn't really that bright. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care guys.